When we decide to answer God's call, sometimes we face doubts and obstacles, but our choice to trust that God can help us overcome any barrier can lead to powerful results. Check out these doing good snippets about people who wouldn't let obstacles or doubt stop them from loving others. In San Francisco, a group of young couples decided to overcome pandemic fatigue by using their free time to host virtual fundraisers to help those in need. They started with a virtual open mic that raised over $500 for People's Breakfast Oakland, a nonprofit that serves hot breakfasts to homeless communities. Then this group of friends hosted two virtual trivia nights that raised over $1,500. They gave this money to this year's holiday toy drive, BACC special contribution, and they also put together and handed out food care packages to the homeless in San Francisco. Next up, we've got a story of someone who developed a hero's faith by finding purpose in his pain. Having lost his dad last year, Dominic Serrano knew that the holidays can be difficult for many people, so Dom decided to raise money to help feed the less fortunate in his community. He partnered up with Mike Parham, who runs his own catering business, to to sell Hawaiian meals for December 24th. The proceeds went to the Monument Crisis Center, an organization in Concord that helps distribute food to nearby families all around Contra Costa County. Dom raised over $600 to help feed many families in need during the holiday and inspired us that we can make a difference when we turn even our difficult experiences into opportunities. 72 hours before study team's annual Christmas Day feeding of the homeless in San Jose, a positive COVID-19 case shut down the entire operation. For the first time in years, hundreds of our homeless neighbors would go without this Christmas meal. That's when Ryan Sebastian got a phone call. Ryan and Christine Sebastian own Movable, a company that's part of the San Jose food truck community. In less than 72 hours, and with the help of generous donations, Ryan and Christine were able to mobilize trucks and enough workers to provide over 300 hot Christmas meals. You can see the difficulty and despair of the families and individuals in these homeless situations, said Ryan. He went on to say, I'm insulated from this level of need. I've been working in San Jose for a long time, and I've seen homelessness, but there are pockets where it feels very overwhelming. In Redwood City, the Burks and the Jones families also found a way to serve the homeless. These two families live in homes that share a backyard and have been sheltering in place together. The week before Christmas, the Jones's son asks his parents, what can we do to help the homeless this Christmas? So the Jones and Burks and their friends turned their backyard into a meal making machine. They made individually packaged meals for the homeless community in Redwood City on Christmas Eve and then went and handed them out on Christmas Day. Taking action to do good is part of overcoming our doubts and developing a hero's faith. What opportunities to love is God giving you?